Plymouth Pro Auto Electric Parts and I want to tell you the difference in between PWM solar regulators and MPPT solar regulators because they are the two models that you can find out in the market. I'll start with the PWM one. Here we've got one from Anadrive that we stock in our shop and a PWM solar regulator later will take the voltage from the solar panel which is usually about 18 19 volt when you're drawing power from it and it will reduce that voltage to charge your battery in the correct way by doing that a pwm controller turns your solar panel on and off very very fast thousands of times a second to reduce the voltage so what it basically does is when you have to reduce about 20-30% of the voltage, it will turn your solar panel off for 20-30% of the time. Means your efficiency of the solar panel is going to drop by 20-30% by using a PWM controller. It is a very cheap way of doing it, but it is definitely not the most efficient way of doing it. Uh, an MPPT regulator, like for example, we've got a 30 amp version here from Victron. An MPPT solar regulator works in a different way. It also reduces the higher output voltage of the solar panel to a lower voltage to charge your battery, but it doesn't turn the solar panel on and off. It keeps it on, it drives it into its maximum power point. That is where you can extract most of the power from the solar panel. So it always probes and changes voltage and current settings to find the maximum power point of your solar panel and then it transforms or it steps down that voltage and increases the current and these are usually 95 to depending but better one 97 percent efficient so the losses with the MPPT regulators are far less than the losses with the PWM controllers so our choice generally is the MPPT regulator because you will get more power out of your solar panel. Perth Pro Auto Electric Parts will get you ready to drive anywhere.